Hi, Patrick Poon, the designer. And I have to say sincere thank you for all the viewers that have been looking up my website, uh, the, the video. And the last video uh, on the mask, I think it's jumped uh, past half a million views. So I sincere thank you with all the comments, uh, very positive comments and encouraging. Yes, I hope I can do more. Some very logical thinking how to solve problems. Today, I want to talk about over some of the comments that I received uh, a lot. Concentration on how the mask is uh, waterproof. The front layer is supposed to be a waterproof material. There is uh, some concern concerned about washing it and the static charge on the filter will not be there. Maybe I could explain a little bit more and how and to understand where the, that is critical for the mass. Should we have a great concern about it? First of all, I think I may want to show you a little bit on the size. Okay, this is a 10 micrometer for dust particles and this is a 7 micrometer uh, red bud cell. This is a PM 2.5, which a lot of mass uh, dust particles that uh, normally you can filter um, for the dust mass. And this is a bacteria which is 0 0.5 micrometer. And then the coronavirus is about 0 0.1. I think there is fine particles that can be filtered by the mass. It's about 0 0.007 micrometer. In general, the mass, the surgical mass, uh, can filter 0 0.1 uh, micrometer. There's no problem. The waterproof part of it, uh, of it is really for filtering if you have some water, something like somebody almost uh, directly cough on you, or a nurse doing some uh, medical procedures that some patient vomit or some blood um, coming off and that's for waterproofing the liquid but the liquid also can be a mist a mist that can carry the uh, 0 0.1 micrometer uh, virus along with it and the 0 0.1 size can get through easily the front layer of the filter let's see these three layers the front layer is very porous if you can see the uh, how how clear and also the back layer that is very porous and the mid filter that's where it can trap virus so whether this uh, waterproof is critical or not I, I think it's a matter of like um, whether during the war time would you ask for a nice stick uh, or you'd be satisfied if you have a hamburger uh, have a hot dog to eat I guess a hamburger would be great already but a hot dog, I would be more than happy. So, because the hot dog will keep me survive, and I won't die hungry. So the filter material, the waterproofing, and also static charge that's supposed to be on some of the filter. Those are like asking for a hot, um, a nice steak, and um, but I would say the filter do all the purpose of trapping the virus if you if there is one floating around in the air. So whether it's that static or not, or waterproofing or not, this does all the job. And this is confirmed by a microbiologist in Hong Kong who studies SARS. And uh, it's confirmed that waterproofing is, is some feature, but it's not critical because any virus will go through the, water field, uh, uh, the waterproofing filter layer, no problem. And the most critical is this to trap the virus. And the static charge, yes, is great, but most static charge will fade out uh, in time anyways. So uh, that's, I think a lot of people over overemphasize the static and the waterproofing. So I want to make it clear, the most important part is this filter material. So uh, I'm not saying if we go back to the normal situation, not in the pandemic situation, when there is no shortage of mass, yes, please ask for a nice stick, which, is, which means you have the waterproofing layer, you have this good uh, static charge, use it for one time and throw it away, that's fine. I think that's, I would do that too. So I hope that gives you some understanding from my viewpoint that uh, about the waterproofing and also the static charge issue. Okay.
Uh, this is a quick demonstration, the waterproofing layer. We put some tea on this to show the waterproofing and it's working. If I wear a mask and when I breathe, will the water go through the mask? Uh, I'll just give this a try with a little suction. I have my tea in my mouth now. Mm -hmm. So basically, when you breathe, even if the moisture is saturated on the outside, um, it will go through as you breathe in and out and breathe in and out. The waterproofing is okay, but um, when you breathe in and out, have, uh, the water would suck through and go through the uh, filter. So this is how it will end up. Uh, so yes, waterproofing is good, but is it really that critical? Uh, I would say is not as critical as it sounds to be because when you breathe in, the water will be sucked in through as well, which is demonstrated here. And also, I want to re-emphasize the filter. If you take a really uh, more careful look on this, this is a cross section which I showed you last time. Then the bottom layer. These are lot holes. You can get through this very easily, but when you get down to the filter area. It's surprising. I guess this is 2,000 times magnification, okay? Just, just to make sure. So this thickness here is a 521 micrometer. This is the thickness of the filter, which is about two layers that normally uh, otherwise would use on this one. Using on this N95, we have a thicker layer on the inside, basically. All right? So, um, the filter is being trapped inside going through this maze. So I think this is the most important to trap the virus. One more thing on the static charge. I'm sure uh, a lot of people live in uh, North America or uh, Europe. Right now it's pretty cold. After a shower, so everything is cleaned, washed, no static charge in each of the body or clothing. But then when you dress it up and put it on the body, and put a coat on what happened when you walk to the doorway and then your fingers sap to the doorknob why so basically the human especially with a hairy uh, sweater you will get static charge build up when you walk on the carpet especially that also will have the static charge build up and then your finger transfer to the finger and then uh, when you touch the knob then you get a sap uh, so I think the static charge can be built up and if you happens to wear a mask at the same time I'm, I, 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 I cannot prove it, but I'm quite sure static charge will go through your face and into the mask as well and also um, One other point when people emphasize is so critical on them the static will attract the uh, virus so that it will stay on the mask. If that's the theory, so when you wear a coat, a sweater, or especially a hairy one, and also your hair is quite static charged. So that means your hair will attract all the virus if the environment has a virus in, and also your clothing. Is static charge really is that critical? Uh, from my personal viewpoint, it's great, but I think in principle, your body will have a higher static charge to attract the virus if that's the case than the mask okay this is a serious look cover this protect yourself this is not the best glasses you can get one of these sunglasses or uh, construction worker protective glasses it covers the top area so you have a serious look on this one now all the germs or virus will not stick to your clothing and you buckle up this yeah, that's what you will feel a lot more in control, not sticking on yourself, even if you have a static charge. Otherwise, if you don't have a glasses, one of these swimming goggles can do too, okay? So, this is the serious look. You can buy this raincoat in the dollar store. They pack like this, very, very easy and simple, okay? And also, the water vapor, unless somebody sit right in front of you and talk and spit on it, and the water repellent feature is critical, a little bit critical. Uh, but otherwise, how often 
would you have water really spread onto your mask? Can you recall any time that you have water falling onto your mask? I don't. <laughs> Unless you're working in the hospital, there may be like more chance. But for you and me, a normal person in the household and office, I think very scarce that you have water falling onto your mask. So a uh, water repelling is critical. My view, personal point, for a general use for a general household, you and me, no, it's not critical. So it's the static charge. So I think let's not overplay that those two features. Okay, and I hope you understand. Uh, there is a lot of questions asking about the N95 mask, whether this is appropriate during the same process as uh, we discussed on the last video. So um, maybe I'll go through that and experiment with that, whether this is also appropriate for hot water treatment and soap so that to clean it. And I want to talk about sharing some other N95, uh, KN95 mask information as well. For this mask, I think uh, everybody knew about the uh, 3M uh, N95. Uh, this is the white color ones, and I guess I have difficulty getting a hand on the this blue one, uh, which is the, um, I think this is the one that with the carbon filter, and this one is not. This is more for uh, construction workers, but I think uh, a lot. Uh, it's being used in the medical due to the shortage issue. I want to do uh, a comparison and also the material wise, we, we can see the materials that's being built uh, to make this uh, mask is uh, basically mostly polypropylene as well. There's some polyurethane foam, which is on the inside here. Outer surface is uh, polyester fiber, which is like a cloth material and the strap uh, is uh, thermoplast elastoma. I double checked and most uh, pretty well all the material can withstand 100 degree uh, Celsius uh, water, hot water temperature. So we can try, we can pour the hot water and then see how that turns out. Okay. Can you see the, the smoke coming up? So uh, this, uh, I, I guess we should let it sit for 10 minutes. So while we are uh, soaking this, they get some hand soap to mix into it to clean off the saliva and uh, moisture that build up seriously inside the N95 mask. After 10 minutes now, N95 mask especially because the moisture build up and the saliva that uh, are stuck in here is a lot uh, worse, I think, than um, the surgical mask. So I would suggest to have a little uh, toothbrush and really brush it up a bit okay so I guess this is okay and we can just clean it up with some uh, clean water after the hot water treatment the shape of the mask hasn't changed much so I I think and the elastic band I think is not too bad drying it up and reuse it and after reuse we can still do the same process because this material is polypropylene and the top layer is the polyester fabric. Okay, so hope that satisfies during some of the viewers' question about the N95 mask. Okay, uh, this is another 3M product, N95 respirator 3M. So this one is a little bit different from the standard shape and this is a uh, this comes out flat and then you shape it with the aluminum for aluminum piece. When you wear it, you cover your face from the bottom up and then the nose, fill in your nose, the top end and on the head, and then the second one. Okay, so you push both hands on the nose piece so that you form the shape. So you suck in and feel any air leakage and the nose especially that cover up and this material again uh, very similar to the surgical mask except there's a double layer of filters now that if you have to unmask it take the lower band away and then the top band unleash we can again 
use hot water bath because basically it's not much different than a surgical mask and you could do the same process of hot water N95 mask something like this and this this particular type is also called KN95 and which is quite similar or almost almost the same construction it's again formed like this and it covers and it goes onto the ears and you form the bridge on the nose press it down and that's it I think it's gonna be getting a lot more commonly used than the other types we have one more manufactured by SAS also a N95 but it's shaped a little bit different this also have a urethane foam on the inside and like a 3M product so this one you hold this like this the top one and then the lower back one and there's a little knot that you could pull the band tighter like this here How do you look? Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. It stands up out uh, uh, three-dimensional, so the breathing is a lot easier. And when you talk, is uh, you feel more comfortable with it as well. So I think I, I like this. And I guess this is material-wise, it's also the same as a polypropylene material. So yes, when you're finished with it, tighten the lower back one, and then. Again, you can go to the water bath with hot water and so make sure you use a toothbrush and clean the inside. And I hope this answer the questions uh, a lot of viewers that are talking about the N95. And uh, if you have more questions, yes, you're welcome to uh, put some questions and I will try to answer as, uh, as much as possible. Thank you all again for subscribing me and yes please push the subscribe button and then uh, and i try to get more uh, creative answers for you thank you